So hi guys, happy Ugadi to each and every one. Uh, so with this video, I'm going to talk about three different issues. Like uh, morning, I received a message from student that he is unable to manage studies, and uh, like he want a study plan for this last month. But I'm not giving here study plan. Like in fact, if you see the thumbnail. The image of this video, how to finish preparation within 30 days. That's what I actually mentioned. And I know many of you are searching for these kinds of videos which will pacify your laziness. Right? And uh, don't don't think that I'm a little harsh at this moment, tattoo on a festival day. I don't want to be harsh, first point, but I want to speak out the truth. Don't search for don't search for these questions like how to clear CA within 30 days, how to clear, you know, how to clear within last 20 days. You know, from today, th th this is 2nd April. Ignoring this, you're having 28 days and 14 days in May month. Hardly 42 days you're having. 7 days, festival time, whatever, weekends or whatever, even if I take off 7 days. And in fact, initial 3 days you need to spend up. You know, an exam before three days, you need to spend for that subject. Ignoring all that, seven days break if you take out. You are hardly having, you are hardly having 35 days time left for completing your preparation. I am not talking about available for you preparation. I am talking about completing your preparation. 35 days only available for you. Definitely, 35 days is enough time for whom? For those who has uh, who has at least completed 70% of their coaching, who has completed 70% of their coaching, 70% of coaching means what? In every subject, in every subject, paper 1, paper 2, paper 3, paper 4, suppose if you take group 1 or if you take group 2, remaining that other 4 papers, whether you are final student or inter student. For you, if you have completed 70% coaching of all the 4 papers in CA inter or CA final, now, if you still start revising that 70%, yes, definitely 35 days is an enough time. In fact, let me be more clear, 35 days means according to me multiplied by 12 effective hours. I am not talking about how much time you are sitting and wasting time. I am only talking about how much time you are actually studying. 12 hours is the effective hours that most of the students actually study. In fact, I am, I am giving, I am actually putting a bigger number. Many students study hardly 8 or 9 hours. But assuming this is your last month where you need to really put your effort. Remember, this 35 days your, is your game. You know, this 35 days will definitely be your fate changer. Okay, like your whatever your result. This 35 days will crucially decide. Until yesterday, until today, whatever you do, provided you did 70% coaching or you completed 50% preparation of the syllabus, 50% syllabus you already completed. Whatever you do till today, ignore that. From now what you are going to do, that decides your result. Like suppose you, you are working really hard, you are working really superb, you, are, you don't have any regret. But from today or from tomorrow, this next 35 days, if you do not put efforts properly, if you do carelessly study these 35 days, definitely you can't expect a positive result. Suppose all these days you are negligent. All these days you do not have much seriousness towards studies. Only when April month entered, you understood that the next month is the examination. Even if you now buckle up your seat, even if now you put, you know, serious efforts, okay, like sincere efforts, definitely what is your perception towards result can be changed. You can expect a positive result for sure. These 35 days plays a crucial role. From now, every day, in fact, every hour is a valuable hour. Not just for you, even for our faculties as well. Even for us, it is very much valuable. This last result period, I mean, exams before period is very valuable for us. We have to give from our and all inputs, whatever we can give. As a student, you should continuously, you know, focus on whatever you need to do. And believe me, and please, please, uh, make this point remember this should be your last video on searching how to plan your preparation at the last moment again from tomorrow you should not search this should be your last video again another 10 days you wasted 
and again coming to the YouTube and searching how to prepare, you know, how to how to make ourselves ready for examination in the last 20 days, last 20 minutes. Definitely videos will come. But this is, from me, this is the last video for May 22 examination. I will not do another video. Because anything that is less than 20 days is little difficult, practically. Let's talk practically. I can say, I can sit here and say that, yes, you can do CA within 20 days, but it is not actually. It's not. Once upon a time, 3-4 years ago, when the papers are of normal standard or substandard level, yes, 25 days is also enough. But today, considering the paper standard, syllabus standard, everything, after considering all this, at least it required 35 to 40 days to have a moderate, you know, to, to, to make yourself conclude that, yes, you are moderately perfect, not absolutely perfect. You are moderately perfect. That too, remember, I am only talking about a student who, who is going to plan for single group. This entire video is only for a student who is planning for single group. Sir, suppose I am a both the group students. Still I have not completed coaching for both the groups. Still I have not, not, not started any reading of the, you know, I have not started revision of the subject. See, for me, coaching and preparation are not two separate wings. Coaching itself is preparation. First of all, understand that. Come out of assumption that preparation is different from coaching. Coaching means what? You are learning something. What is preparation? There also you are learning. What you do after coaching is actually revision. It's not preparation. You are not preparing for the first time. Coaching means then, then why you do coaching? So coaching itself is a preparation. What you do next is revision. Suppose if you are a both the group student, you are planning to write both the groups. You have finished at least some 50-60% of the coaching. You have not yet started any revision at all. See like actually I don't believe in doing revision separately. I believe in cumulative revision concept but 90% of the students don't know what is cumulative revision. So, I am talking on behalf of that 90% who do not understand what is cumulative revision. And now, don't think of cumulative revision. Whoever already practicing cumulative revision, you go with that approach. No problem at all. Whoever have not yet practiced that cumulative revision, don't do that now. Sir, what is cumulative revision? You just search in YouTube, cumulative revision space Ram Harsha, you will find that video. But now it is not the right time for starting cumulative revision. Cumulative revision, if you have already started, then go ahead. Fine. Uh, where I am? Huh, okay. So, if at all you are both the group student, you have not yet started revision, change your thought. First, focus on any one group. It may be group 1 or group 2. Just shift your plan to one group. Today, April 2nd, today you should decide. Once again, you should re recalculate your decision. Once again, you should revise. You should think and revise your decision. Are you ready for both the groups? You know, who can be ready for both the groups? Who already finished coaching? You have completed the coaching. Not 100% coaching, but at least 70-80% coaching you have done. In every subject, 70-80% of the classes you heard. That's enough. Okay. And now you are about to start revision. Only revision is pending. You completed the coaching. You understood all the concepts. Whatever you listened, 80% of the classes, you understood completely. Only thing is, just reading it once again is what relevant. If that is the category, if you are you, if you are coming under that category, yes, you can still go for both the groups. But once again, rethink about your decision on April 20. Once again, all of you should keep April 20th as a date. And rethink about your decision. Are you still okay for both the groups or not? On April 20, once again, rethink. Suppose, if at all you are still in dilemma on April 20, can I do it? Can I do it? If you are still having that question, don't even think about it. Don't ask anybody. Straight away, withdraw from both the groups. Choose any one group and focus on that group. If at all you are still focusing both the groups, you know, both the groups you are focusing until April 20, then you decided one group. Preferably go for the second group because you are having one week time extra. Those of you who, who are going to plan for only second group, you are having actually 42 days. Another 7 days extra you are having. Suppose sir, I am already fixed sir. I am either a group 1 student or group 2 student. I am already fixed. Group 2, whoever is planning for group 2, you are having 40 days plus. You are enough time you are having. Group 1 students, you are having 35 days. So now today please decide. Suppose if you, you originally planned for both the groups, somehow your coaching classes went okay, 70% you completed, you have not yet started revision and you felt that you are not having that much command on the concepts. You are not having that much command on the concepts. If you think you do not have that much command on the concepts, then, then fix for one group, focus on that group. 
it is always better to clear one group rather than failing in two groups. It is always better. Some students have, will have this thought, sir, I want to skip this attempt, sir, I will go on for Navambo, I will try for rank. That is a most useless thought. Remember, if at all you originally want to try for rank, and you didn't keep this May attempt in your mind, you straight away was thinking about November attempt from long ago, for you, I don't object. But, suppose if you are this category, like, I originally planned for May attempt, but somehow my preparation was not very well, now I am deciding to withdraw from May, I want to plan for November so that I can get a rank, this is an excuse. This is not a goal, this is an excuse. If you are in the second category of excuse category, don't go for November and aim for rank because you, you are having a habit of procrastination. You will obviously do that even in the November attempt. So don't think that, okay, since my preparation was not well for me, I will withdraw now, plan for November with a rank. No, don't be like that. You are actually thinking in a very foolish direction. So, so this is my take on this strategy. So 35 days, even if you spend into 12 hours a day, approximately you're having 500 hours, close to 500 hours. Huh? How many? 3, 3, 360 hours uh, approximately, not 360, 420 hours. You are having approximately 420 hours. For each subject, you can minimum spend 100 hours time. For each subject, you can spend 100 hours. Definitely, for papers, theory papers like audit, law, at CA final, at CA inter, law and taxation, uh, not law and taxation, I can say, yeah, law and accounting, 100, 100 hours of time is definitely enough. 100 hours time is more than enough for revising complete subject thoroughly. So you still you are having enough time for revision. Suppose sir, I have not yet started anything sir. Now I want to freshly start everything and plan for May. It is very difficult unless you plan to study 16 to 18 hours a day. Which according to me is not possible. Which according to me is not possible. See suppose if it is there in your system. Every day you are having a culture of working 14-15 hours. Now increasing it to 16 and 18 is very easy. Till date you never had an experience of working for that many hours and suddenly you want to work for 18 hours, it's impossible, I'm telling you. Your body should, know, should accept, right? You must know some, some sort of biology. Yes or no? So we must know some sense of biology, how our body reacts suddenly if, the, if at all we change something and which is impossible. Generally your body do not accept, your mind do not accept. So that's about the 35 days, 42 days, you know, uh, your approach should be, your decision making should be. After this video, in the next one, one and a half month, you should not search for any YouTube video, how to prepare within these many days, how to prepare within these many hours. No, don't do that. You are, you are actually claiming excuse. In fact, watching this video itself is something wrong for you. In fact, you are already, you should, you're not supposed to watch this video. Logically speaking, you must be having your own plan. You must be happy having your own direction. You must be in that direction. Suddenly, you know, listening to me and then changing your direction is not correct. But still, still, I want to give some value addition. I want to give some clarity to you. Because whoever is messaging me, I cannot tell them each and everyone this, this right, this reply. So I made a video. Okay. From now on, whoever messages me, I'll simply forward this video to them. So don't excuse. Don't, don't claim excuses. Don't pacify yourself with this kind of videos. Realize what you are doing. If you think what you are doing is wrong, what you are doing is not sufficient, from today you need to, you, you should try for changing yourself. But at the, at the same time, abnormal change is not possible. Until today you didn't study at all, suddenly today you want to study 16 hours a day, not possible. Until today you studied 8 to 9 hours, now I want to increase it to 12 hours, yes something is possible. It sounds, you know, good. Then, next one. So that's about my take on the time available. And what is your state of mind? Based upon whatever I told right now, take a decision accordingly. Next one. Sir, I'm a CA final student. Even for CA inter student also, I'm talking about CA inter auditing related strategy. Okay. I'm a CA final student, advanced auditing. Can you list out the chapters that I can ignore? The chapters which you can confidently ignore. What are the chapters that you can ignore? I'm talking about ICS study material point of view. Okay, so what are the chapters that you can ignore? First one, there is a chapter called audit strategy, planning and program. So that you can confidently ignore. The another one, liabilities of auditor, liabilities of auditor. 
and third one liabilities of audit is a very lengthy chapter and third one insurance audit this chapter these three chapters you can confidently ignore and another chapter is audit under fiscal loss audit under fiscal loss now you are having only direct access especially if at all you are not a group 2 student you you are not you didn't take direct tax coaching at all till date you are only focusing on group 1 right now you must ignore this chapter because most of the provisions you feel completely new suppose if you have already taken direct tax coaching most of the provisions covered under direct tax loss audit you can easily connect with otherwise it is very difficult for you so these four chapters these four chapters you can straight away ignore straight away you can ignore in fact as a fifth chapter you can even keep risk assessment and internal control chapter also you can ignore as a fifth chapter as a fifth chapter you can ignore even risk assessment and internal control even whoever is my student okay whether you are smart co student or full co student majority students of my 95% of full co students only majority of you if at all you are writing for may attempt you can happily ignore strategy liabilities insurance physical loss and risk assessment internal control but remaining chapters you must be the best remaining chapters you must be the best you should not skip not even a single concept whatever the resources i provided you main material question bank mcq lectures you must definitely watch with respect to other chapters ignoring this why with respect to other chapters you must definitely read company audit audit report strategy corporate governance and professional ethics peer review quality review imo audit due diligence okay all this you must definitely read these five chapters you can take a break because these five are generally lengthy chapters moreover the weightage will be see definitely from every chapter there is a weightage but if you cross verify if these these are conceptually these chapters are little lengthy conceptually these chapters are little lengthy you must have very big command on the terminology of audit that's why i selected these five chapters and asking you to ignore if at all you are at the end of like if at all you're you're in you're in a risky position ignore these five first finish all the remaining chapters the best then focus here then come back and then focus on this if at all you have you finished everything else completely next then suppose sir i'm a ca inter student suppose i'm a ca inter student can you can you tell me the same way for audit which 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 chapters that i can happily ignore first and foremost thing government audit you can ignore the second one audit of different types of entities you can ignore audit of different types of entities you can ignore government audit you can ignore risk assessment and internal control chapter you can ignore so these three chapters you can confidently ignore nothing wrong nothing wrong okay even you have some standards like sa 250 sa uh, 560 and uh, sa uh, 580 and standard on quality control sa 220 these standards also you can happily ignore ca inter student auditing these standards you can happily confidently ignore you need not worry about this so these are second priority chapters for ca inter students so ignore them remaining chapters you should be at the best remaining syllabus whatever is there you must be the best so these inputs are what maximum i can give but believe me this video maybe it gives you a slight idea but but this cannot be a complete eye opener for you unless you think what is your exact state of mind what is your exact position you should think of it and then take a decision accordingly again don't ask me sir my 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 position is this this much percentage i completed in group and this much i what should i do see that's why i gave some input here depending upon this watch this video once again accordingly you can connect it to your you know state of mind and take a decision accordingly so that's it all the best uh, you know you are you are still at this point of time where you need not worry much these 35 42 days if you plan properly single group i can give assurance both the groups i cannot give assurance but single group i can give assurance and believe me qualifying single group is always better than failing in both the groups or postponing your attempt postponing your attempt is also not a correct decision failing in both is also not a correct approach at least qualifying in one group will definitely give you a lot of enhancement that's it okay bye bye carry on all the best